So what needs improving? So the server, as everyone knows, needs to be able to hold more traffic. Um, the times need to be better aligned with your class schedules, and there's a lack of available classes. And I've noticed this, especially as a junior, um, a lot of my friends who are seniors have a hard time registering um, for classes and getting all their classes in their last semester of their senior year, which in, in even in earlier cases, it can cause students to fall behind um, in their graduation requirements, even as freshmen, sophomores, juniors. So inconvenient times and server issues, um, their registration is being in the middle of the day, which um, causes a lot of distractions in class, and it also causes a lot of students to skip class. Uh, so on registration day, professors may see that they don't have many students in their class, uh, and that's because they need to be able to register, and if they don't register at this time, they probably won't get those classes. Um, and then too many students are registering all at once because the times are all bunched up, but it's causing server issues and it causes the site to crash and causes even more students not being able to get their classes. So the solution um, is to move registration to the evening. A lot of universities do this or they have registration on the weekends to avoid um, students being in class during registration time. Registrations at like 7 p.m. Um, or on Saturdays to just avoid um, avoid students having to skip class or be, cause distractions um, and it just helps, prof <laughs> helps professors um, plan out their lessons more accordingly. Um, speaking from personal experience, a lot of professors get angry um, and I've had this, I wasn't able to register uh, for my classes this year on time because my professor uh, wouldn't let us open our laptops and register during her class. Um, and then Another solution is to space registration out even further. This will help with the server issues. Um, so if they do registration um, on the weekends, uh, they have a lot more time to be able to do this uh, instead of just having registration on um, like n at 9, 9.15, 9.30, 9.45 being the only time slots for registration. Um, hopefully um, they'll be able to expand this um, and they can do it by your exact number of credits opposed to your class standing or your, by your last name. And then lack of avail available classes. This is also another huge issue. Um, I know a lot of seniors are currently having to plan to stay for the summer uh, and uh, won't get their diploma on time because Suffolk um, does not have their graduation requirements available for them um, this coming spring. So I, um, my, me, Glenn, and Nick all believe that um, SBS career link classes and CAS freshman seminars should be available online to accommodate for mass amounts of students. Uh, and these classes are not classes that need to meet in the classroom. It takes up classroom space uh, and it just causes um, a lot of students have to like push these to spring semesters or when they're not um, really available. and. I know a lot of juniors that are in 200 level career link classes. Uh, so by offering them online, it just clears up um, a lot of issues. And then classes with web-based books and access codes should have online access for classes. If all you're doing in class is opening your laptop and doing all of your work online, Suffolk uh, should accommodate this. And this would also um, make these classes available to a lot more than just 20 students. And lastly, lecture-based classes should be recorded and broadcasted through Blackboard. Um, if all you're doing is going to class and listening to a lecture, there's no reason this class can't be recorded and posted on Blackboard. Um, so that way, instead of seating only 20 students, the lecture can hold upwards of uh, 50 students or 100 students or whoever. So you're not um, crunched um, and there's, it just fits a lot more students. Uh, and everyone is able to um, be accommodated and get their classes done when they need to get them done. And obviously this won't be able to happen for all classes, but even doing it for 10% um, of classes will create um, a much more accommodating schedule for a lot of students. Thank you for listening.